That, if you can do that, it's going to feel great. It's going to sound great. I promise you, you will turn heads. You know, people who live with you are going to come and look in the door and go, wow, that sounds great because we're playing music the way it's intended. How awesome is this song to play? It is such a great groove. Um, and you really can have, have so much fun with it because if you apply pretty much these three ideas of pentatonics, root notes, and chord tones, which is a theme on Stitch Method, it's a theme of real guitar playing, it's a theme of music, um, this chord progression really brings out the best of you. Sometimes a chord progression comes along and it just makes us better guitar players. And this is one of them. Uh, the name of the song is Back on the Train. The groove to this and the chord progression are just so phenomenal. Whenever I hear it, I always have to listen to the jam. And whenever I play it, it feels so good because it forces you to play in the way that music works. All right, so we're going to get right down to it. Back on the Train uh, is a song by the band Fish. Uh, I love this song. And it starts off with... <laughs> My, my starts off with my uh, doorbell. Uh, it starts off with an F9 chord. And that's the intro, but when we get to like the song and the vocals and the uh, jamming, uh, I'm talking about the middle section by the way, it's, it's just an F major. So we have the chord progression F major. such a, a unique chord progression. When you look at it really quickly, we don't have a centralized key or mode because we have four major chords. If you're interested in that stuff and haven't learned to check out this video, but we, we have four major chords starting on an F and it's like, okay, can I see, you know, is there, is there an A flat, uh, sorry, is there a B flat major in an F? Yeah, and you can go through all this stuff, but really you're not gonna find a centralized key. Uh, there is an E flat, A flat, and B flat, but that doesn't mean anything. So uh, how does this work? How do we create melodies over something where we don't have a central scale to sew together. Well, the way that Trey uh, does it, which is the blues rock approach, is to play the minor pentatonic of the root chord. So we have this F major chord, and he's going to play the F minor pentatonic. You can play it up here. I'm going to play it down the first fret just for um, a better, I think, better visual example up here. Um, and the F, major, the F minor pentatonic actually has all of these notes in it. So this chord progression, you can say, kind of came from playing the major chords of some roots of the um, minor pentatonic. You have F, then you have B flat, you have A flat, and you have E flat. And so, you know, wherever the chord progression came from, um, we can nitpick that, but the idea is, is how do we solo over it? Well, you know, let's try the F minor pentatonic right now. All the root notes are in there, and when you put the minor pentatonic on top of a major chord, it gives it that bluesy kind of sound. So I'm gonna turn on a little bit of distortion, maybe a lot of bit, I don't know what my settings are, uh, and I'm gonna play just the F minor pentatonic to this groove, and let's see how well it sounds. <laughs> You can see we're already bit off a huge chunk of the solo right there. Uh, the F minor pentatonic fits perfectly uh, and and has all the root notes in that. And so now just one quick thing I want to focus on, it, my doorbell again, uh, is the, um, the F, you know, coming home to that F, coming home to the F notes, which are here, here, and here. 
uh, when I want to end my sentences, I come home to those root notes. Um, and now it's like, okay, can we hit the root notes of the chords that are happening as they happen? That's This is that, that master music formula. You know, music equals scales and or chord tones happening over chords plus the human element. And so there's that formula again. When we hit the F, we're gonna try and hit Fs. When the B flat comes, we're gonna try and hit some B flats. When the A flat comes, we're gonna try and hit some A flats. And when the E flat comes, guess what? We're gonna try and hit some E flats. Now, knowing where those notes are, are a little bit hard in the F minor pentatonic because it's a rare pentatonic for us to solo and usually we're in E. And so um, I'll have a chart uh, you know, that you can purchase if you wanna support the channel. And of course on Patreon, we'll get the chart and the practice sessions. All right, so um, I'm gonna try and hit those root notes with the chords, keep track of the chord progression. Again, really feel good, groovy chord progression. Let's see, I'm gonna try and say it out loud, which usually is a big fail uh, as I do this, but let's see. Uh, speaking. Uh, you can see how like, okay, F minor pentatonic, great. Like hitting those notes with the chords, awesome. Now, um, that if you can do that, it's gonna feel great, it's gonna sound great, I promise you. You will turn heads, you know, people who live with you are gonna come and look in the door and go, wow, that sounds great, because we're, we're playing music the way it's intended with that master music formula and the right stuff at the right time. And uh, what does Trey do that, to add some special elements, some human element? Well, Trey sticks to the F minor pentatonic for majority of it, and instead of just hitting the root notes, he hits the chord tones of those other chords, the B flat, the A flat, and the E flat. And we're gonna keep it simple, we're gonna keep it in this uh, vicinity. Uh, so the first chord, B flat, is, has, is the first fret A shaped chord. All right, these are the notes I'm looking for. All right, now the A flat chord, believe it or not, is gonna be the G shape. And I'm not really gonna be looking at, when I mean, you can, but really I just see those first frets on the D, G, and B. Like, right? I can, if I want to, but I'm gonna keep it simple. The e flat chord is the D shape here. Uh, it's a bugger of a chord. And I can see the E flat here, chord tones. I'm gonna stick with these. I'm just gonna kind of play those chord tones now. Let's see. Um, I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna say the, uh, the uh, chords out loud because it's just so hard to do, but I'll put them up on the screen and let's see what it sounds like when I add those chord tones now. <laughs> especially on Stitch Method. All right, so uh, this is it. I mean, like, how groovy is this song? Man, groovy, I hate dating myself. How awesome is this song to play? It is such a great groove. Um, and you really can have, have so much fun with it because if you apply pretty much these three ideas of pentatonics, root notes, and chord tones, which is a theme on Stitch Method, it's a theme of real guitar playing, it's a theme of music, um, this chord progression really brings out the best of you. So go get it. Now, before we end really quickly, you can do it up here. 
You can do it on any F minor pentatonic and find those chord tones, which we'll be doing on Patreon. So you can kind of take the solo to different places. But if you have, now I don't know how this is going to sound. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the song, it is very, very common for Trey during this section to uh, play with an octave pedal. So I'm going to put my octave on. And I'm going to jam out a little. Uh, as we leave with my octave pedal on and uh, thank you so much for being here go get this it is a lot of fun and you'll see how you will sound good when you're binding with the music all right take care guys great to see you again and see you soon (laughs) 